everybody! What are you doing these days? Are you busy cooking? <laughs> Me too! No matter what happens, every day I'm cooking three meals. And these days, I'm so, so addicted to this guy. You know what it is? Dongchimi. Dongchimi is radish water kimchi. I already posted the recipe a long time ago, but today's recipe is a little different because I found out how to ferment it so quickly. So today's recipe the title is going to be the quick fermented dongchimi. Oh my god, this smell already fermented. Only it takes two or three days. For traditional dongchimi, it takes a lot of days to ferment. You guys should check out my traditional way of making dongchimi. We use a whole radish. Problem is that it takes a long time to ferment. Usually it ends up a lot of radish and just not enough, small amount of broth. So that's why I developed this recipe. Actually, this is from my 2015 uh, Mangchi's Real Korean Cooking, the cookbook recipe. Ever since I just developed the recipe, I keep keep making because I can serve this as a water kimchi, you know, radish water kimchi, and also I make a noodle soup. That's why I use a lot of, lots of you know, broth. And also, I use a lot of apples. The apple's aroma is all the coming into this broth and smells good and tastes good. Actually, this is in America cookie jar, but I use it as my dongchimi container. Why not? <laughs> this is one gallon jar. One gallon is 16 cups. Today, we are going to make this exactly the same. So, see? I have another gallon, another jar. We start with this jar. Hey, say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Let's get started. So, to make this one gallon of dongchimi, we need two pounds of radish. Look at this. Radish. And I got this from Korean grocery store. Korean radish. And this guy's from just a local grocery store. Look at that. This is white radish. You can use either one. You can use either one. I just washed it just roughly. I'm going to peel. What we need is two pounds. With this leftover radish, I'm going to make radish soup later. I slice very thinly. That's why it ferments so quickly. Look at that, so many circles I have. Okay, let's put these guys here. For this amount, I will add three tablespoons salt. One, two, three. Instead of using your hands, just jump, jump. And then I will add this all to this jar. See, already a lot of water is coming out. And I will set aside here at least to two hours salt. Let's make apple broth. And I have to use my food processor. And if you don't have a food processor, use whatever method you use, just a crush. <laughs> this is two large apple. These apples are more than one pound, one pound to five ounces. This is a honey crisp apple. Any apple, sweet apples are good. Put this in the food processor. And one large onion. Cut into chunks. You know what it is? Just a plain flour. When I make this, and kind of a color is a little milky, so I really like it. But if you don't want, just never mind. Skip it. And I will add 
one teaspoon and quarter cup water. I will make this puree. So I like to push this stuff. So now, well just ground, nice puree. Through this little gap, I smell the like apple, really nice. I'm boiling 14 cups of water now. And I will just add this to here. Let's add all this. I will just boil this for 20 minutes. Let's make these seasonings. Four garlic cloves. I will use my mortar and pestle. Easy. And ginger, around one tablespoon or two teaspoons. And this is green chili pepper, cut in too small. And then just a pound. I use my hand to cover this. So when this is a splash, I can just use it just as like some, some kitchenware device <laughs> using my hand. <laughs> I see, look at that, wow, nicely. Color is a little milky, isn't it? Nice. Let's wait for this to boil. Okay, 20 minutes passed. Okay, let's see it. Okay, turn off. So we have to cool down thoroughly. I will just add these all seasonings into this my soup pouch. So garlic, ginger, green chili pepper. If you don't have this, use just a cheesecloth, double or triple folded cheesecloth, wrap this, all this seasoning and tie it up very tightly. This time, I will just make a kind of a spicy, spicy uh, broth, kimchi broth. And I will add two tablespoons Korean hot pepper flakes, gochugaru. And then close this, like this. My apple broth is cooled down thoroughly. I just changed the water, cold water, a couple of times, and actually really quickly I made it cool down. But you don't have to do this. Just let it cool down just naturally, you know, a couple of hours after that, nicely just to cool down, then you can use. So now I'm going to bring this, and I will just strain this. So large bowl, and this is strainer, and also I want a really clear liquid, just only broth. And this is a kind of a cotton cloth, and I will just put it there. I will pour this broth into here. Lift this, like this. It's not so clear. I will gather these all edges, like this. I will show you this, like, that. like this, only purple. You can squeeze out more if you want. And then, look at that. This is my precious broth. Like taste. 
little sour and a little sweet and really apple flavor. Yummy. We didn't add any salt. I will add three tablespoons salt. One, two, three. Stir well until the salt is well dissolved. My salted radish, lots of water already on the bottom. And I will add this broth here. We still have a lot of liquid, this broth. You can keep this in the you know, refrigerator. And two days after, and you can add this more. And then, you know, the green chili pepper, garlic, and this seasoning. Squeeze in the broth. You see the color is changing into little orange color. Even I don't add any other stuff here because I like a clear liquid so that I can make a noodle soup, cold noodle soup. Keep this seasoning pouch inside. It's going to seep out over time. And for two days, 48 hours, you just keep this any cool place, not in the refrigerator because we got a ferment. When it's a ferment, it tastes sour. Broth is really sweet and sour. I will bring the fermented one I showed you already at the beginning of this video. Okay, this is my leftover broth. So I put this in the, you know, my glass jar and I'll keep in the refrigerator. This is uh, two, three days ago I made this. Look at that. Oh my, it smells good. I'm looking for my seasoning pouch. This one I use my cheesecloth. Squeeze out. I will show you how to serve as a side dish. And first, some, we need some radish. This is cold right now. And put it here. So cut into matchsticks. I will just add this. And cucumber matchsticks match very well. And then we need broth. Wow, looks so good. And let's mix together. My leftover broth, this is already fermented. I will add this here. So this is dongchimi, quick fermenting dongchimi. So you can serve this with rice because it's a little salty. So you need rice or noodles and then eat together. So let me taste. <laughs> mm. Oh, God. the broth is a little bit sweet and sour and kind of deep flavor, kimchi, fermented kimchi kind of flavor. Radish and cucumber, so crunchy and refreshing. In my next video with this guy, I will make a really delicious kimchi mariguksu. Today, we made quick fermenting radish water kimchi, dongchimi. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.